Hey everyone, it's Tiffany from Let's Get Scrappy and thanks for joining me today to watch another project from our Christmas in July series. This one is using, um, it's a trifold mini album using um, Cartabella's Christmas collection and here's just what that collection looks like. That's one of the sheets and then I have still all the chipboard, so I still have lots to use, and I actually, I had a crafting weekend this past weekend with a couple of my girlfriends, and it was a pre-celebration for my birthday, which is at the end of the month, so I was given this, which she knew that I wanted to try this out, it's Photo plays um, folio two, so you get these pieces. Um, it's like a kit basically. So you get this in the package, and then you just have to adhere um, everything together. So I just wanted to try and see what this was like, and here's what we ended up with. So here is the front cover. And on the front and I believe the back, yes, I double mat matted um, using a red and then a cream. And I did ink the edges with black soot distress ink. So I'll kind of try to get this a little closer. I did use Wink Estella here, um, which if you do not have that, I definitely suggest you get it. It's so much fun. And I did glossy accents on the eyes just added a little bit of bling here and then I use my Martha Stewart punches to just get a few different leaves to layer up under the flowers and this is just all from my stash added some ribbon and then a little bit of wire twine there and then I do have these little um, metal corners and this is a sticker sheet from Martha Stewart that I've had in my stash forever and finally just decided to use and then I did ink it up with um, a gold and then a little bit of a silver on top just to make it um, pop a little more but hopefully you guys can see that I did take the 4x4 cut apart and double matted that and then also pop that up so that is the front here is the side and this is from one of the border sheets, um, the border papers. And then again, here is the back. And oops. this is from the sticker sheet. I just used a bo the border. Let me show you guys real quick. So here's what I have left of the stickers. So this is just what I used here and put it on um, cream cardstock. And it is really hot here in Washington right now, so the sun is just blinding me <laughs> in my craft room. So hopefully um, I'm doing okay because I cannot see on the screen what I'm doing at all. So just bear with me. So I did add a tie closure to this. And I the reason why I wanted this was one, just to... Um, see one how it was constructed because I do like doing that and then sometimes it's just nice to have something ready to go if you need to make a fast project so to have like a kit ready to go or to build the book and then just have it you know waiting for when you're ready to do something so that's um, the main reason why I wanted um, to try this out so here is uh, the first page we have here and this is part of the border sheet I was talking about and then we have a pocket page, oops, and that fell off. So I will have to glue that back on. That goes right there, or uh, I should say I probably didn't glue it on. And then I just took a cut apart, made a little spot to add some photos and there is a magnet closure. And then I have a little tag here. And this is from one of the um, pages is all tags you can cut apart or just use as is and then in the pocket I took one of the 4 by 4 cards and put it on a photo mat and then the back is just blank 
and then it turns like this here so it's ready to go for a photo then you have this side and then this flips open like so and then you have in this side all the tags and the um, photo mats and everything I added so you just get the base but this is a cut apart just like that and then another tag you can put a photo on you could journal on the back and then there's that what that pocket looks like and then this flips open like that so here is another tag and then this is a 4 by 4 cut apart and then it flips open like this here so I just added a couple water or a couple waterfalls a couple photo mats for four by six photos and then this is a three by four cut apart and you do like they have the belly band and everything and I will tell you in the kit there is a um, another uh, little a belly band it's not a belly band but another little flap for a closure so this is the one we're looking at right now I don't know if you could see with the glare and then it has one on the um, another one that you could do on the front but it was really strange to me because it wrapped around like the whole back of the book so I opted not to use it but they do give you that in the kit and then it just looks like that there so you can add a photo to this and then it's just a basic waterfall and I did use the branding strips for my little strips in between and usually I add just a solid so I would have added like a cream a mat there but the book was kind of getting thick as it is so I just left it plain so that way once you put photos in you still can close it up and I do have um, I don't know it's a good spot I have this open back here so in the kit you just get the waterfall page but I always like to put my waterfall on a base first so that way I can make sure I get it down straight. So when I do that, I always leave the back open in case I want to do a tag or add something. I don't always add, but I like to leave it open to have that option. So just in case, um, when if you purchase this, you'll know that the base I just did by myself, which is like, let's see, it's like five and a quarter by six and a half or something like that. Yeah, by six and a half. So it just, I have a magnetic closure there folds up like so and then you do oh we forgot about this the little envelope pocket and I have just a few of the four by six cut aparts in here but it's just a great spot to add some pictures and then a magnetic closure and then it just folds up like this this goes back down and then you have your book there. So um, again, this is Photo Plays Folio 2. They have, there's a whole bunch of different ones and this is what, I don't know if you guys can see that with that glare. The sun is, ooh, so bright. So you can do it all kinds of ways. So that's the flap I was talking about that wraps around the back. So it's on the bottom. Um, but they have, uh, I think like four different ones that I saw. But I mean, I would definitely get it again. I think it's a nice quick little project um, to have ready. So definitely check that out if that's something you're interested in. And um, yeah, that's the gist of it. But I thought it turned out really cute. Here's what it looks like. And I wanna say the spine is the, it's a one and a quarter spine on that side and this is one inch on this side here. Oh, and the one thing it does say that it is a six by eight album. It is actually like, what is it? Five and a half by seven and five eighths. So maybe they just round it up, I don't know, but it's definitely not six by eight, just in case you need that exact measurement. But um, hopefully you guys like this project. I had a lot of fun making this. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It would um, 
be greatly appreciated if I got some more likes and if you have not already subscribed please do so, so so that you can see future projects I still have a lot more projects to share this week um, to end our Christmas in July and then I will be going into my own <laughs> Halloween in August why not just keep going early so um, thanks again you guys for watching I really appreciate it talk to you later bye